Good evening. I'd like to open the um, Deerfield Planning Board meeting May 13th, 2019 at 7.05 at the Deerfield Town Hall. Tonight's agenda is review minutes from previous meeting, review the mail, take some public comment if there is any, and then continue a public hearing uh, for a site plan review of 141 Greenfield Road. Then we have some new business, which is an A&R at 198 Mill Village Road. And then we want to discuss um, some organization or reorganization of the planning board itself. Um, welcome new members, talk about responsibilities, have elections of chair, vice chair, and clerk, and appoint a planning board member to the FERCOG planning uh, committee. Uh, and then we have uh, potentially another item. Uh, there's an attorney Evans who requested to be on the agenda. If that doesn't come up earlier, we'll take it up then. We'll look at any other business not reasonably anticipated. 48 hours prior to the posting of the meeting. We'll set a date for the next meeting and then adjourn, hopefully. Is everybody okay with that agenda? Anything else? The Good. representative to the community, uh, CPA. Is that still <coughs> undecided? No, Ra Rachel's had her turn. And... No, not it. no she's, she's on it because of the select board appointed her. Oh, so Roger. who's on it from the planning board? Roger was on it from the planning board. Oh, okay. And All right, if I can um, just take one thing out of order, I would like to um, welcome our newest member and congratulate Anne Marie as uh, Anne Mary as our uh, new planning board member. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. We don't have a name tag for you yet. It was just uh, election was just a few days ago, but we'll get that out there. Awesome. And maybe when we get to this item, we can we'll talk a little bit more about what your hopes and dreams are and things of being on the planning board. She wants world peace. Um, as as we all do. I know. <laughs> um, but let's uh, just introduce ourselves. You want to start? Rachel? Wake, wake up, Paul. What's that? John, wake. wake up. Kip Camosa. Paul Alice. Max Antis. So we've got six out of seven of us here. So we have a. Quorum. I said, wake up. There's not going to be world peace. <laughs> all right. So um, let's review the minutes from. Uh, April 8th, which we, would just, which we just got, so we'll take a couple minutes to review it, some of which is pertinent to tonight's agenda. I have a couple. Uh... Yeah, I have a couple as well. Um, Go ahead. Um, the question, from the, the first one's a question. Uh, Chris Curtis of Gedden Down is consultant for the town. Was was he hired? Was he under a grant for something mm -hmm. for for the town of Deerfield? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I just. What's that? MVP. Okay. Municipal 
MVP, okay? And the other thing is on, on the bottom here under um, proposed zoning changes, green development performance standards, uh, I got that number, but I got a period in there where it doesn't belong. Should be 37, 32, I think it's dot one. And any, anyways, there's an attachment that I'm gonna put with this. I didn't put it with these minutes, but we got the attachment last, uh, the last meeting that talked all about it. He, he presented that, if you remember. Right. And the same thing with the, um, uh, the flood plan zoning. Um, there's another attachment for that. So you'll, you'll see attachments there and add that? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, no. There was another C attachment, where was it? Oh, uh, it's, um, there should be one for the citizen position, petition. Oh, the petition attached, see the, he presented it oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. attached it. So there's two, two attachments, there's that one and then there's this one here and there's a C missing on subcommittee um, there. So did you find something else, John? Yeah, so, um, one, two, three, four, five, like the six kind of section down. John Wade opened a letter from Gene. Da, 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 da. You've got no action taken on the complaint that there was poor, poor lighting on the signage. Yeah, I didn't think it was. We, I know we recommended they improve their signage. That was our recommendation to Vesh because they were here. And we okay. Said, we said if they needed to come back to us for something. Oh, okay. So then I'll cross, it, we'll cross that out and I, we'll I say. No, we recommended they should have better um, signage. Okay, board recommended. That Vesh should install better signage um, or lighting. Because I, I, thought, I thought that what happened was that the sign is so far back from the road that that was the, the major problem of it, plus the lighting of it, you know. We, we didn't say how to do it, we just recommended they have better signage. Okay, lighting. board recommended. This is no way. Because we all agreed, everybody agreed it was bad. Yep, to this, that they address the issue. Is that what you're saying? Okay. There was another complaint came into the town offices this week. On the same thing? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so is this correct? If so I'm they adding? haven't recommended it. They haven't improved their sign. So, so, is it, so if I put down a board recommended to Vesh that they improve, improve their, sign. their sign. Okay. I can add that. And then the next one about the site plan review, the last sentence there, um, or the second to last sentence, we will need to set up peer review. I think. The board decided to set up to right, hire to a peer review. Peer review. Right, it's but it's not been done, so we've. But it, it we decided at that time we didn't. It hadn't we didn't been done right here, it decided. says we will need to. So okay. The board decided. So you, to, the board decided to set up peer review. To, to hire, I would, I would say hire a peer review. Okay. The board <coughs> will hire peer review. Okay. And then the citizen petition is, um, well, at the end of that first sentence, I don't know what that word, determine, is the first hearing of a petition regarding coverage, coverage of impervious surfaces. That's right off of the... Uh, and determine the look date. At, look at that. Um, no, but I'm just saying that those words, that sentence, it's not a sentence, Determ date, determine the date for possible hearing, is that what that... No, yeah. so we did. We did make a date for that. But then I think he rescinded. I think he pulled back on that. But right. I thought we were going to have the meeting anyway. This on, was, on the other two. Have you got the Have you got that agenda oh, from I last see. month? Yeah. See how that's worded there, because I took it right out of that. What did they say there under the? Oh, determined date for oh, oh yeah, so just put it in there. Good um, coverage of impervious. But I also have a note that was put on hold that um, that the citizens said. We're going to hold off on that now until we look at these other two. Okay, did that happen after our meeting or during our meeting? During our meeting. During. Oh, okay, I didn't catch that in my minutes. Yeah, absolutely. He, he said, let's put that on hold until we, because he Chris thinks Curtis these other two uh, proposed zoning changes might take into account. Mm -hmm. The green okay, development so, might take into account. So Tim Hilchey said they would put that on hold, that citizen for task. That. It be put on hold. Okay. 
Yeah, and, and I'll, I'll copy those and put them with it when I give them to, to uh, Priscilla. That's what I've got. Otherwise, okay. I think that's it. <clears throat> Motion to approve as amended. I move that we approve the minutes as amended. I'll second the motion. Okay, Kip, Kip second. Who, who second? Rachel. 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 <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? One abstention. What's that? One two abstentions. Abstain. Two abstentions? Yes, I was Okay, so we have Max and two, and four, four, six. Abstain, so what? Six, uh, four, four, zero, two. Four, zero, two. Okay. Got it. Is there um, anything in here about 141 Greenfield? No. So we didn't get their file? We didn't oh, have it here. last, sorry, we sorry, didn't sorry, have sorry, it sorry. last month, I think, so we... Yes, here it is. All right, so I just want to, um, actually before I do that, is there any, um, does anybody have any public comment, anything that's not on the agenda that someone has a quick question about, information we need to hear about? Seeing none, we'll go to the open the public hearing for the vest. So I'd like to open the uh, continuation of a public hearing. Um, at 7.40, the Deerfield Planning Board will hold, uh, will continue the public hearing uh, in the municipal offices of Conway Street to act in compliance with the town zoning bylaws section 5400 on a site plan review application submitted by MIB Construction and Custom Cabinetry on behalf of Stormaster Funding LLC for a proposed 2,560 square foot addition to the VESH building, a veterinary facility located at 141 Greenfield Road. Assessor's map 141, lot eight. Copies of the proposed project application are available for inspection in the town offices during normal business hours. Any person interested or wishing to be heard should appear at this time and place as designated. So we opened this hearing last month, as we just talked about in the minutes. Um, we needed to hire a peer review person. We got a little behind on that, or peer review, peer reviewer. And then just in the past um, week, I think that was done, but no action has been taken by the applicant or the peer reviewer since then. So do you want to give us a little update on that? Um, we entertained two um, different bids from one in Samson Weston and the other one from Berkshire Design. Berkshire Design? Berkshire Design came in lower as it looks like it's a fairly, it's an existing structure that we've already worked on. It seemed like it would be not as complicated a, a project as um, it would take to bring in Weston and Sampson. Berkshire's right here. So we went with them and so they signed up. That, Chris? I'm not, I'm actually here for the a &R that's coming. That's what I thought. I happen to be here, so. It's just coincidence. Because nobody else is here. So somebody has so to sign the, the extension, right? Did you? No, people communicated with Vesh, or I mean, obviously they must have. Did, did you able to talk to them at all? Or? Uh, no, Diana said that she was going to ask Diane from SWCA to be in contact with us, but I haven't heard from her. Right, exactly. She she contacted Josh right. at SWCA. So how do we get that extension? We can write him and Good ask. Good question. So I, I, would, I would say I feel confident that communication has been made to them, and that's why they didn't show up tonight. Um, so we'll ask the... Um, Town staff to <laughs> and he's in Amherst. Follow up with that. He's in Amherst. Who's he? Uh, the the uh, uh, just Josh or what's his name? For Surrett. SW. Surrett. I don't know. But sure, Surrett. Surrett. That's right. Yeah. Vesh is here in, in Deerfield, so he's in Deerfield. No, Vesh is in Deerfield. No, but the guy no, no, no. But the okay. 
I mean, it's, it's who has to sign the thing, I guess. Well, this also complicates me. This, it, the applicant should be the owner of the building, not some construction company. Construction yeah. Company, right. So if the owner of the building is got responsible to get him to come and sign. Well, it. At the so. very least, if we can find an email and send him a copy of it to sign and return, I guess yeah. that's about the only thing I can think of. Can you follow up with that? Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, continue that hearing. Um, our next meeting is already scheduled. For the third. Should we? The third. Yeah. Um, What's today, the 13th? You, you think that's enough time to have some? We get the plans in time. I believe it is, yes. Yeah, so I mean, that should happen this week, so. Yeah. All right, so let's continue it to June 3rd. So, Rachel, um, you need to contact the MIB Corporation. Is that what you're going to no. do? No, well, I'm going to first contact Josh Charette at SW. Okay, so you will contact, um, is SWCA, is it? What is the? Initials for, for him. SWCA Environmental, I think. Environmental, okay. Now, so we need to get somebody from MIB to sign that form, do we, John? Or what's the process going to be? Yeah. Okay. Because they were informed? Yeah. Email. My email. There's no response. There's no actually, response. Actually, this might be relevant here. All right. This is man from this is from the manager of Vesh. Um, this came to the town offices. I wanted to follow up regards to the request below for a special meeting in regards to our project. What day? What day? <coughs> this is as of today, Monday, oh. May 13th, sorry. As the 60-day th peer review window ends tomorrow, our hope is that the town will grant our request for a special meeting to ensure our project stays on track and is not further delayed due to the circumstances outside our control. We are under a timeline as this addition includes a specially designed and invented room necessary to meet USP 800 requirements that go into effect December 19 in regards to the chemotherapy administration church. I kindly request a prompt, a prompt reply to this request. Okay, so they, um, the 60 day thing is not correct because they uh, signed the thing saying. Yes, yeah, they, they re upped the last they up, meeting. They up thing, so yeah. maybe the 60 day thing starts tonight then or something. So. Well, we so um, this didn't come to me. This came to the town. So the town got an email. Um, actually, did you get it? Nope. And they're requesting. What were they requesting? They're on, email they're on the CC, but it, it, it didn't. It came this afternoon. So you might have got it. But if you can work with them, um, Priscilla, oh, yes, or, did, did, Priscilla yeah. or Diane, and say, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting on this right away. And so if they, she's, a, she's from she's from Vesh. Okay, good. So that's the person. That? Yep, 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 yep. So if you say we're going to continue this for just Something a couple more weeks. Something from SWCA okay. in the bottom okay. of your file there, John. Turn that file right over. What's that say? That's what I was just reading that's, from. This yeah, is a series of emails. The, the newest one is this one, May 13th. Yeah. Oh, okay. They did um, yeah. request if we could uh, do a special planning board meeting prior to June 3rd. Oh. Well, let me check in with them because June third is still. It's pretty. It's pretty close. close. Yeah. It's not like. It's yeah. that far off. So maybe they don't, they're not. Yeah, I'd rather. Let me take those, John, and make copies of them at least somehow. Or uh, get copies of those so I can put something in the minutes on this. I mean, I don't can know. Can you what forward this to? Uh, right can you now. forward this to Paul? I'll forward it to you right oh, now. you have that whole thing. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Make sure I. Does it say that I got it? I don't remember I'm getting just, it. No, oh, you didn't. It it, not, Rachel was okay. the only planning so board member. So if you could forward that, Rachel, I'll just use that for the minute.
All right, so I move that we continue this public hearing for 141 Greenfield Road until June 3rd. Mm -hmm. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oppose? Abstain? Oh, 600, and we'll hopefully that'll now the, uh, work out. The, the, we're going to continue it to the June 3rd? Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's 600. Zero, zero. Okay. <clears throat> and what time did you open that meeting? Seven twenty. Seven twenty. Um. Oh. Okay. So by continuing, it means we closed it in. We didn't. We didn't close it. We continue it. So it's over. Um, okay, I thought you reopened it here and then we did. voted to continue it. Right. So that's all we need for that. That's all we need. So we don't close it, we just continue. Right. All right, new business, A&R, 198 Mill Village Road, Sun Mass Inc., combining of several lots. So we have some representatives that want to walk us through this one. This seems to change a couple times along the way. Sure. So... Uh, we have prepared an a and r plan to combine i think it's six existing lots uh, into a single lot uh, which is associated with the uh, proposed cannabis cultivation at 198 mill village road um, as a lot combination um, as opposed to a division, we'd not normally need an A&R, but it was a condition of Chris, our... could you just, sorry, oh, just sorry. Say, say your name again and yes. just for our, uh, and I got to put it down on this and... Sure. Uh, Chris Chamberlain, I'm a civil engineer with Berkshire Design Group in Northampton, and I'm representing Suns Mass, Inc. And I'm Dick Evans, representing Suns Mass, Inc. Thank you. Um, and so, as I was saying, uh, normally the combination of lots would not necessarily require an A&R, but it was a condition of the special permit granted um, to ensure that there was clarity around exactly what the limits of the new property would be. Um, so we have submitted, it was not uh, prepared by my office, but by uh, Durkee White uh, Town in Chapdelaine, and Ed Chapdelaine has uh, signed and stamped the, uh, the lot combination plan, which you have. Uh, and what are uh, the lot numbers? The lot numbers are um, 90. I'm sorry. We've, yeah. I didn't know we had this one. Anybody want to share that? Mm -hmm. So would, what, what are the lot numbers you have? Just out of uh, sure. They are 94-4, uh, 94-5, 94-9, 94-10, 94-11, 94-12, 94-15, 94-16, and 94-17. Three of those lots were previously merged into a single uh, single family home, but they were still listed for tax purposes as three okay, so that, lots. So that counts up to be eight lots into one. Correct. Uh, you said six, I thought I uh, misunderstood you. Well, there's, uh, it's a little confusing because one of the uh, lots that fronts on Mill Village Road was previously, uh, I, I guess they're combined because they're in common ownership. Okay. Um, but there's, there are eight tax lots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and the plan uh, shows the old lot lines to be removed, uh, merging those properties. Yes.
So there's one here, 94-6, that's... 94-6 is not part of the project and is not being combined um, with the other lots. Oh, so, so six and seven stay out of it. Okay. Right. So I just, I just have a hard time with these um, plans on which lines are getting taken out. It's kind of hard. The darker, I, it's really the darker ones are the, the, the new in. lines. The ones that are no, but this is are going out. Well, this, this one's dark darker too. than. than All right, that's not going so out. It's All right, right so the dotted line, line it just one. comes down okay. here. Yeah, the. Time. And then this tits taken out. That gets taken out. That's good. That goes up and down and around. Yeah, I'll, I'll say the, that gets taken out. So the new boundary is, is less than clear, but the lot lines the to be line. removed are all dashed and are it's noted as old feet. lot line to be yeah. removed. Explain that by six is not getting dashed lines because it's not one of the lots, right? Correct. And you did you go through our bylaws about the shapes and stuff? That eighty-five foot. Piece, is that okay? Um, there's a portion of the property there that can't be counted for certain zoning calculations. Um, it's, uh, don't have that in front of me. Um, but there, uh, in counting the total area there are of the lot for the calculation of uh, coverage, there are certain areas that become excluded if they're narrower than a particular dimension. Uh, when we, yeah, and part of the special permit plan set identified the, the portion of the site that was not counted in those calculations because it was too narrow. Um, that's not reflected here because this is uh, just the A&R plan. Wouldn't the lot stop where it doesn't meet the required dimension? Uh, the way the bylaw reads, uh, that particular area is not calculated, but uh, it doesn't uh, prevent the lot from, from existing um, through that area, is my reading of it. So it prevents it from... No, I remember doing this years ago, but... Uh... So it doesn't count towards the lot size? It's been a couple of months since I read exactly what it's excluded from. I know. So here's lots, corner lots, single lots. This is in our um, dimensional requirements. I'm trying to pull it up myself right now. It's been nice to be young to see things that small. <laughs> you wears glasses. <laughs> These are for distance. It makes the reading a little bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't count towards the minimum lot size, but you, that doesn't matter to you guys. Is that what we're saying? This is our RA, minimum lot width, 100 feet, 6. Oh, this is this whole section about width. This is a minimum is 100, so this is less than 100. But, um, uh, yeah, so on the, um, I am looking at section 2320, table of dimensional requirements. Uh, the minimum lot size has footnotes one and seven. And then... And the minimum width has that one, um, number six. And six, yes. Yeah. 
Okay, any part of the lot which does not meet the minimum criteria for lot width shall not be considered toward the calculation of minimum lot size. Right, and so but on, in your, in your case, back when we did the, the site plan review, we identified a portion of the site that was less than the minimum width and excluded that right. from all of our calculations. So actually, so right here it's 85, but then it quickly comes back to 100 as you get further in. So it's just this little, just this little section here. Correct. Yeah. Oh. To me, the lot ends there. Well, no, they're removing this line. Right, but right. if it doesn't meet that. Well, it, see, it doesn't say that. It just says it doesn't count towards it's the, it's any two lots. Minimum lot size. There's an area in between the two lots that's not big enough. Right, and in our, in our diagrams in the back, we kind of show how you got to, you know, you got to take out, this doesn't count towards the minimum. This doesn't count, but it doesn't, doesn't mean you can't still have that. It just means it doesn't count. It's not connected. Well, they're connected it by taking them away the lot line. They're not connected. The, the, the area in between doesn't count. They're not connected. Well, there's nothing in the definition of a lot that talks about the lot width. It's only in the calculation of, uh, of the But Do, do you find anywhere where it's illegal? Or? I'm happy to hear, hear from you. But. No, I see note seven and note one. Yeah. Right. But either it's the lot or it's not. And, and th that part doesn't count, so. It's like the old flag lots. What, what do you mean it doesn't count? doesn't connect. There's not a part that ties these two pieces together that's legitimate to count. Are you, hey, come show us. I want to hear from you. I just don't. He's talking about me. I know. I think our bylaw, once again, is a bit ambiguous in that area, where any portion of this lot that is less than 100 square feet. 100 feet. 100, 100, 100 feet, feet wide. wide. I'm sorry. Yep. You can't consider that area as right. the total so, lot. So what, but what you're stops. saying is that once it becomes less 100. than 100 feet, the lot stops. Terminates. But it doesn't say that. Though. Where did you, where did, you know, like how do you interpret that, I guess? I don't. Because it, it avoids, it avoids uh, creative, creative lot lines. It stops, okay? If, that would be my interpretation. Is it a gray area where we're kind of like, I don't know. Just I'm not sure that was either. Effect, um, I'm just asking the question because it's either it is a part of the lot or it isn't. Mm -hmm. So it's that it's mostly this uh, six, and then you kind of you got to go back and forth to see what they're talking about here. Um, yeah, and so I guess our our response would be, and I, I fully understand what he's saying. Our response would be that what it says is the part of the lot which right. doesn't meet that width criteria is excluded from the minimum lot size, but that doesn't have anything to do with what the definition of a lot is, mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't exclude the, any portions of the lot that, that do, in fact, meet the, the minimum width. Mm -hmm. So you're right. I think our... Our thing about those angles and that width was to try to avoid funny shaped lots, but right. And anytime yeah. you got a interior acute angle, it blocks out that whole section that's inside that acute angle. Uh, but I think that ref re um, specifically refers to frontage, um, acute angles with frontage. Of course, again, that was a couple of months ago that I read that. So. No, I, well, one of our diagrams has it in the back as well. Okay. Um, so, John, I guess if you look at it from Max's point of view. If you had a triangle piece of land where you had your 200 feet of frontage, but the angles went back to 85 feet, and then it went the other way and opened up, but in the front portion of the land, you only had a half acre of land. In our RA district, you need to have uh, an acre and a half for a building lot. Would then that fly as a building lot because there was 
six acres, but it was choked down to 85 feet, then it went larger again? The barn door's opening is what I'm saying. You're opening the barn door. But here's, here's where here. we... Yeah, right. To here's other we're not allowing it because that angle... uses the geometry. This angle here can't be too severe. Yeah. I get that. So that so was... If it went like this and then back like yeah. that. But we don't kind of talk about which is almost like an hourglass kind of thing. You get skinny and wide again. Yeah. Um, to convert to the purpose of a building lot that... Um, yeah, I, I, I can't see how we can prevent this. Can't I just, you know, I guess I understand your... It's a precedent that I don't think we should... It's a road we don't want to go down because it, may, it, fits, it helps them, but who's it gonna, who else is it going to help? Right. But the intentionality no is for it to be at the discretion of boards, anyway. isn't it? Isn't that the first part of that law? Where are we? The very first paragraph up there. Because they could also meet, I mean, what, well, that's I, what it gets down session. to is that's, the, that's the that's coverage. That's a different thing, the rate of development from dimensions. Mm. This whole dimension table is, uh, dimensional requirements are kind of strict. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these measurements are, are strict. That's a little other oh, thing right. over here. Um, So, right, but you're, you're not looking to get, you don't need certain lot size. I mean, you're our. We're not doing any building there. Yeah. It's, we're not looking to build right. a house. But the intent is that when you cover a certain amount of the lot, that a percentage is covered and a percentage is not. And this just, this just opens up. Well, well, so you're going back to our previous decision then. If, if, if we're saying they can't do this, then they don't have enough impervious surface for this project, which we've already said they did. Was this, was this a wetlands type thing? The back here to no, that's actually there water. is a separate consideration that 80% um, of the lot needs to be upland area. Um, Not wetlands. Right. Mm -hmm. this is and well, so, I didn't know if part of this was because of the wetlands, but I wasn't sure. Uh, I guess I don't understand the question. Well, then. That, that had this back section is agricultural land. It's not the Correct. wetlands is over here. Right, right. I knew that, but yeah. but there was something about the. I don't, I don't I, I was thinking of something else. I guess. Yeah. So it looks. I mean, to me, the minimum lot width is six. Uh, note six is the one that we go by, and. Um, yeah, and, and we agree that there is a portion of this lot that is less than the minimum width and cannot be used for any of those calculations. Right. Um, and then, but in, in number seven, to me, it's, it's very clear that you have a lot. Um, there's nothing to prevent these from being combined into a lot under the definition, um, but that the portion of that lot um, is then uh, excluded. Uh, but, you know, in footnote, six and seven, it doesn't suggest anything about um, land beyond um, the, the narrow portion of the lot. It's simply, any part of the lot which does not meet the minimum lot width shall not be considered toward the calculation of minimum lot size. Once we do this, it, it's the lot. It can't be changed. I mean, that's it. So, I mean, the, the intention of this this ratio is to claim land. This is, I think, what Max is saying. You've got a lot, 200 feet of frontage, go right. straight back. Mm -hmm. This is only a quarter of an acre, but this is a piece that's 85 feet and it opens up to six acres. Right. Are you going to allow that? Right. This is the flag lot that right. the board has in the past didn't want to do. Yeah. This is no different than that. Right. If you look at it, I mean, yes, it's bigger and it's got all these jobs, but. I think that's what he says, but, but I don't think that that addresses that. I don't think so. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 But that maybe we need to address. Yes, we Because that do. is a funny looking lot that you just <laughs> made there, well, right? Yeah. And, it, and, and is this, I guess. Uh, but what Max is saying is that if you allow this and somebody comes in and wants that with this, right. things, they have the same mm -hmm. argument and say, well, you know, I got, right. this, I got the frontage right. and it's just 
we're not going to count this 85 foot because it's not wide enough, yeah. right? but it opens up to a bunch of land. But it also land. means that no one here, they can't also count that frontage, you know, so you're still limiting it's what one. can be built there, I guess, you know. Well, it's, it's, I'm just saying, it's a building one. Yeah. It's just one. But then this won't be a building one. Oh, well, well this, so could, this could be owned by this, somebody This else. is not exactly the same thing as this, because this, what, what we're looking at is this. I the whole, that, the whole purpose of the square footage. Extreme, but yeah. The point is that yeah. what yeah. Yeah. No, no, I know, but I'm just saying. The frontage is not enough land. Same as here. This is not enough land. So they're using this land over oh, here. Oh, yeah, absolutely, to, to know, make up for the To make up for the square footage. And surface. this is the same scenario that would be here. There's not enough land to build it, but there is in the back. And if somebody comes in and says, well, the land tapers down to 85 feet, but then opens the back up, yep. are you going to allow it? Yeah. And what Max's point is, is if you allow it here, and somebody comes in and argues and says, well, you did it over there, you know, it's difficult. 85 feet a new norm. Well, I mean, we're not even saying it could be two feet, and, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know if we have a... Uh, all right, well, I, I say we address that, but I, I, I don't know how we can deny this now. Can I just ask you why you didn't do the other route you were thinking of taking yeah. at 81 or some some rule out there that you could have? Well, this is an 81 X plan, actually. Well, so it's possible that we could have combined this lot with the 81 X plan and then come and presented a project on that lot. Um, uh, I think the, the board was interested in seeing this plan um, to make sure that it was uh, drawn correctly based on what we had presented um, sure. in the site plan review, and uh, we certainly were agreeable to that, and it got put in as a condition. If, if memory uh, serves me, when we when we didn't have anybody here at the last meeting, we just as oh well, they're doing the eighty one. Yeah. Hey, so we. I thought we gave you the. I thought we gave you the choice. Come in to address the we we weren't here, which I thought I had communicated <clears throat> Priscilla, but uh, I didn't have a signature on the application yet last week. Oh, but okay. we had. Uh, yeah. She very kindly put us on the agenda before I had actually submitted my application. But I agree with Paul. I thought we kind of gave you the choice of you could do either one. And I thought we discussed it being a choice, and then we suggested we were open to doing the A and R, <coughs> and so <coughs> then the board made it a condition that we do it as an A and R. Okay. I don't think that. Has sales. the determination been made yet? Yeah. We approved it. Okay. So that, that's kind of what I'm also getting at is if, if, if Max is saying you can't, they can't have this, then basically our previous decision is uh, was I wrong. guess what I'm wondering is how you, what, what you're well, basing that on. Because we don't have the determination written up yet, do we? That that's another um, that's, a sore point. that's another issue. <laughs> no, no, I'm just I'm just saying. But, but I we voted know on that it. We, we voted, voted on, it. on it. We we voted on it. But but what did we vote on, and where is it written down? It, it's written down in various places, and we're trying to get it all all together. It, I mean, in the minutes. Are so you, you trying to get us into more trouble? Uh, no, I'm not trying to get you into trouble. We, we, we have in trouble. But I'm just saying that. Yeah, yeah. We're all going down together. Whatever. We don't need to be here the first place. I guess I guess I from what I heard the last meeting we thought they were going the 81 route because we didn't hear the other so I'm right not but now they're saying they're here and so yeah, I think so. it's okay we got to make a decision um, and, and again I I think we approved the other project based on this being part of this parcel I agree with that I agree with that yeah so, I kind of feel like we got to we got to do this and then we go and revise our zoning mm -hmm. that's the way I would it's go on my it. list Okay. <laughs> which we, yeah, which longer, gets longer and longer. Yeah. Longer and longer okay. List. All right. Solar specs. All right. Okay. <laughs> Accessory apartment. The um, I just got to check one other thing. The um, I got the application here, and it looks like it was stamped and stuff. Paid a hundred dollars. Is that? Usually, it's a hundred. Um, the fee should be. Is it how many lots you're making or how many it was for, lots you're coming from? I, I, I know I got the number directly from Priscilla, and I think it was uh, because it's written, it's $100 plus whatever for each additional lot. But right. since we're combining, we don't have any additional lots. We just have the Usually one. when people separate, they pay more. That's right. right. Yep. By combining, they don't. Yep. All right, so it looks like a good thing. So do we have a motion? 
Yes, I move that we endorse. They did 419 four nineteen nineteen. Four nine, yeah, four nineteen two nineteen. And somebody second it. I'll second. Okay, second. All those in favor? Any any discussion? So we we should note in the minutes the discussion I think we had. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and that we want to address it. But big concern. Okay. What's, 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 the, what's the outcome of this? So all those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose? Abstain? Amber, you voted? She voted. Yes? Yeah. All right. <coughs> so 5 one zero. 5 one zero. And then what do you want to say about the discussion? But the, 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 they had a rich discussion with concerns that our zoning, our bylaws are not clear on this matter and okay, that we good. need to review it okay. uh, because this would be a Something we don't want to see in the future. It creates irregular shape or flag lots. Flag lots are best lots. And now we sign. Do you have the mylar? Up yes. There? Okay. <laughs> Only look like paper from over here. Yeah, we don't use. Uh, I know Sharpies, Sharpies anymore, do we? I think it seems pens seem to work. The pens right on the mylar, they're good enough, I guess. There's a pen, pen right here. And it should have our little blurb on it, does it? Um, uh, just to the left of the stamp. Should. What's that again? Oh, yeah. To the left a, of the stamp. There's a box for signing there, just to the left mm -hmm. of the sweat stamp. I know, I'm looking for the thing that says these are not, uh, this does not say they're building lots. Um, so yeah, it says right in that no box, no determination. Made as to the buildability of the lot shown. Isn't that it? Isn't that the one you needed? I, it's a little bit different, but I think that works. No determination. Really. Buildability is an interesting word there. It was something like, this endorsement does not yeah, approve a building lot. Yeah. Yeah, the mylar is the most important. That's the one that Do you need this to be signed in? Yeah, I'm going to sign it in. Okay, I'm going to get this. That's Good thing I'm going to shop it. Yeah. <laughs> one more. <clears throat> For old time's sake. And Mary, they had you on here. They got you on the official score sheet. Yeah, so you didn't get a card. Didn't get a card yet, but he's coming. I don't care yet. We're going to be in jail. The other one. Do you want to frame one of these for Anne Marie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mary's first uh, signature. Her first official signature. You're Anne Mary, not Anne Marie. Anne Mary. Anne Mary. Anne Mary. Anne Mary. Anne Mary. And you did get sworn in. I did. I, I got sworn in this morning, and they said that you were in <laughs> earlier, so that's good. But I have to do your um, ethics test. Did you do your ethics test? I did my ethics. Uh, Paul, did you do your ethics test? 
Did I do my ethics? Yes. I believe I did. All right, congratulations, you're all set. And Mary, thank you, you want to, um, a piece of paper with your name, your phone number. We should keep a, all that information, email. a couple. Sure. Um, yeah. Keep two and he gives the, uh, you get the mylar in one and we'll keep two. Oh, thank you. Question. Are you, are you, you coming wait. to the next agenda item? It depends or? if you want to answer it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is nine out of order then. So no. we could, we'll skip, yeah, we'll, we'll eight we can four. switch seven and eight. How's that? Yeah, thank you. So uh, Attorney Dick Evans requested to be on our agenda tonight, uh, apparently yes. for, for two different things, sir. No, this is, I, I'm just curious about your intentions about filing the decision in this case. Uh, I, I need to draft a... Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, I appreciate your patience. I was away. He was away. Uh, That's it. We, we all have excuses. Do we have minutes from last meeting? Here. I don't know. You have the guy here. Well, I, I, so, I didn't bring extra copies, but I'm saying... So you've written it? No. This is yours. That's my draft? No, I'm this is your draft. I, said, I gave you two drafts, actually. Basis. Yes, I, both of them are here. So here's, here's my concern, and I just, I'm, I'm you know, yeah. sorry. We are in a kind of a snafu around this because we don't feel comfortable, and I, I speak for, I hope everybody, in that we don't feel comfortable, you know, Rich Blaine, eighth grade English teacher, drafting this as our first so we've asked our council to review it. Not that we don't think that you're perfectly qualified to do this, but we feel that our council should have, at very least, his imprimatur on it or his eyes on it. And we have had uh, a, a tough time getting back, getting that information back. Apparently, some miscommunication. Appreciate that. Um, there was some thought on the part of people in the offices that we should be doing this. We do not feel that this should be our job. Nor do we believe, again, I, I, must, I repeat this, not that we don't think that this is a terrific document, but we think that our council should be looking at it. We shouldn't be signing something without council approval. And he hasn't given it to us. So where is it stand today? Uh, Adam week, wrote me this week, this week yeah. to say we had some movement, which is very exciting, although I, until we get a draft from him, and, and it may be just like, go ahead, sign that. But we need him or her to write us and say, go ahead and sign it. But I don't feel like that's our call on this matter. We're not, but, but this, this so week, where is the He got the minutes from that meeting. He's got this and he document, was at it. And he's going to put together a determination and we'll come. Can you do over email and get it We don't have, we're not, we're not, we're not held up by anything except for the actual document. I mean, that seems weird. I know, I appreciate that. But as it is not something that is in my specialty and I'm not in the business. Okay, I know I've said that a hundred times. I'm done. I'm done. Any other Here, I put my glasses on. Well, I, when do you expect to? You do you do expect you so do expect I to think file that, a decision? Yes, I, we do. Not waiting for me to file not a decision. Not at all. No. I mean, that's, this is that's not, why I'm here. Both in our court. I'm going to start preparing that if, if I have to, but I, I wanted to bounce it off you first. If, no. If you would plan Balls to in our to court. File a no. What what is this? I, what is this that's there in your hands, John? We we have this. It's on the email. It's from. We gave it to you March fourth. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it was what we. We got, and it's not doesn't look wrong. I'm not saying that. I just, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not a. But just well, the, you the know fact what? is that he's going to take the minutes. He's going to take this, and he was at the okay. meeting. He's going to take his own notes, <laughs> and he's going to he's going to make that determination letter. I would say within two weeks. I would Could say faster. Could be a lot sooner than that. I think faster. And we're going to push him for it. Um, That's it just yesterday. We, got the email. Like we just we got, got the email. email. So. Could you ask him to do it in a week? We, we can I will I definitely ask him to do it in a week. I. I and I hate to, we're not proud of this, but the other project is in the same situation. <laughs> that make, gives you, so any, not, not that gives you any comfort. Yeah. Um, but this one's first, because you guys uh, started the process first. So. And also, you, you, you've given us a decision <laughs> to yeah. sign, yeah. So. which we wouldn't even have if we didn't have it from you. So you have our email. So if, if next Monday, if you want, if you want to bug you, bug us. Yes. Right. That would be fine. Monday. Okay. That's that I'll be quiet us. until then. That'd be super. Thank That'd you. be super. <laughs>
but I'm and we really, apologize. It's we apologize. really important to get this thing Absolutely. signed yes. and filed. Yes. But, but, but I think a, if my memory, my memory serves me right, we, we, took, we took a decision that was a sample that was given to us by Chris or you or somebody. We worked on it collectively. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so we worked from that when we, took, when we were doing our meeting on the, on the 4th of March. So, or doesn't he show up? so I think that most of what's in there is probably what's going to end up in the decision. Yeah, we'll be fine. So, that's fine. So, We're good. Okay, I'll plug it in. It's in process, anyway. Okay. He said, I'll do my best to get them to you in a week. So he wrote at the end. His thing. It's actually one of the next items on the agenda is, 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 pertains to this as well. This is what? He sent it on Friday, said he's going to get it to us in a week. Yeah, he did? He said that. All right. I'm looking at it right uh, now. <laughs> I won't be able to do it for Monday because I wrote him and I said we have a meeting on Monday and we're going to go empty handed and that's not good and so he said I'll get it within a week. Thank you. I saw your name on the agenda. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got students like me. <laughs> I just thought you'd be glad oh, to see us again. Well, we do. It's been oh, so long. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Thanks for bringing us. And Mary, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hopefully you won't see that much more of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then go back to item seven here. Um, so each year we have elections and at least one or two <clears throat> people either rejoin or, or join. Um, and then we talk about responsibilities of different uh, Planning board members, so we're we're excited. We haven't had a actually we haven't had a new member in several years. Rachel, you're the you're the last new member. That was a, several years ago. So very excited. The first time. Um, the first time. And and I I was also um, reelected, so I'm I'm on for another three years. Mm. Apparently. Uh, so. Um, so if, do I understand we have five spots that we want to fill for COG member, and then is there well, we another member that no, we, I have, we haven't got to that yet. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were in that reorganization. No, I'm, I am, but it, I'm, I'm still at the number one. <laughs> oh, no, no. I mean the new member. Oh, okay. All right. Can we go down? Okay. Um, so I don't know, do you want to say anything about what you, uh, you know, why you wanted to be on the board? and? Uh, because there is an empty seat and because somebody's got to run things and um, I know how to read and write and think about full sentences and how laws apply and so I thought I might be good at it. So what, um, I guess part of it is because we also have trainings and we try to know what our backgrounds are so that we can have like certain things we look to someone who has construction experience or something like that. So what kinds of experience might you have that... Honestly, like the letter of the law, like um, reading and understanding and, you know, applying the letter of the law to decisions. I'm not a builder, I'm a reader, I'm an editor, I'm someone who understands language and how it applies. Right. Yeah. Right. So we will make sure you get the, uh, the bylaws. Um, and so basically, if you And I've done that with union um, organizing at my job and I've done that, um, I was on the trustees of the library, library so Right. That's the expertise I bring to it. All right. Um, so our main thing is our bylaws, and I'm not sure any of us have gotten have received the most up to date ones. When I spoke, when I was sworn in, I didn't bring it here tonight because I wasn't sure what the culture of the board is. But she said the best thing to do is bring your laptop. That way you can search the laws, it, you know, and that's the most updated. All right. So the one, well, this is a whole thing we have to discuss, I guess. Um, how we're going to work as a, as a planning board, um, given our staffing at the town right now, too. So, um, but anyway, so my, you know, I don't know if, I think every, each of us can give some welcome or advice or something, but my, my advice is just to, yeah, read that, the, the bylaws, um, the Deerfield zoning bylaws, because they just, they're used over and over again. And okay. it took me, it takes a while to really get into it until you have cases where you start to, but at least getting familiar with it is, is helpful. Great. And then ask us questions. So um, you've got a lot of experience on here. So awesome, John, thank you. Feel the, free. Um, do we have the capability of copying the last uh, CD from uh, Pat Smith? 
Because that has more in it than just the... If you give it to me, I can burn it too, and I can bring it back to you. Well, I'm just asking if we've got one archived in our, in our records anywhere. Do you have it? What it has is it has the site plan review application. It has all of the applications. They've got one from 2015. Uh, no. That's, I think, the yeah. most no. recent one we have. So, no, we, no. we have one, brand new one. I got a copy of it uh, a couple months ago from Barbara. So oh. if anybody has an updated CD, it would be Barbara. Oh. So I, I would say that one of my issues with reorganizing the board here is that I, I think we have very little capability right now. Um, and I'm saying that as someone who's been the chair, and I don't feel good about saying that. but. Our, our office staff is, um, is limited. Um, we do a fair amount at these meetings, and then we do very little in between. And I think, um, and we relied a lot on, on Pat Smith for years. And um, so we had someone from the Council of Governments who helped us for years, and then mm -hmm. she left in January. And it, the, the Council of Governments didn't replace them, and we don't have a contract with them anymore. So my understanding is the town is hiring a do you know what that position is called? It's assistant? It's assistant uh, town administrator. And uh, I believe that they're looking at uh, people who have some planning background. Um, but I, I think that, you know, regardless of their planning background, we know somebody that's just going to follow up on a lot of these things and to uh, make the first move on a lot of the uh, decisions that we make whether it's hiring, peer review, and stuff like that, to go out and, and do that, make sure it gets done, and follow up. Because mm -hmm. you're right, you know, we're all volunteers, and that for whatever reason, the town doesn't feel that we uh, need the help, and it just gets getting kicked down the road. And consequently, we have situations like tonight where our decisions aren't properly recorded and filed, and the applicants end up waiting and waiting, and it's just, just unfortunate. Not, it's, not, it's not a good way of doing it, but... Yeah, you know, on the other hand, you know, we're all volunteers, so I mean, you know, I know myself and I know from others that we spend many hours during our work week trying to do these other things. When I first uh, joined this board, we had somebody else taking the minutes. Paul has taken that over mm -hmm. and puts a good bit of time into that. And between, you know, um, and Doug did them and Priscilla did them from the tapes for a while. Mm -hmm. So that, that all by itself is something we think, in, in fact, at this point we have, I mean, Priscilla, you know, she collects the fees. She's there when somebody comes in to pass something in, but. But her job was never to be our, it's not, our administrator. And she's, yeah. you know, I think more and more realizing how much <laughs> yeah. it's worth to do. And she's not, she's not eager to take that on. Diana's overwhelmed. Um, so, but, but Kip's point, I mean, the, they are looking at a part-time person to be dedicated to... Well, it's a full-time position. The part of it will be that for the planning right, board. Right, right. Part of it, a part-time position for us, planning part board. of it for us, whatever. And, um, and that will make a big difference so that there is somebody to answer the phone, to contact the peer reviews, to keep the thing files moving and to make sure that we have in front of us what we need. Right. I mean, I think that, um, that those are all really important roles that we, I'm not, I'm not Well, I think one of the things that this board should consider is that going forward, if in a couple of months we don't get the support that we need as a group, we go to the, the select board and to the finance committee meetings and, and plead our case and yeah. bring some, you know, uh, situations where, you know, because of, you know, the lack of support, things haven't worked well and really, you know, tell these people, because I've tried, I tried, I'd go and I tried to get them and they know you don't need this, you can do this. Well, we already got two people in there. But too many times when the, when the fingers are pointed to an individual that we have working for us, they fail to realize that that person's here for 18 hours a week yeah. and they do yeah. planning, they do inspections, they do all kinds of so things, you know. Yeah. And, and it's amazing how much time our staff deals with just people walking in. Hey, I want some information. It turns into a half hour conversation and that's when things get messed up. You know, things don't get posted properly and stuff like that. Plus, I, I have a, I mean, I'm making this list of things. I, we are, uh, we're not, we've been so reactive in terms of how we have approached planning. And I, I feel uncomfortable. Even back when Bob Decker brought us that thing years ago, 
that he wanted us to do in terms of you know rezoning Center Village and all that kind of stuff. Even that was reactive, you know, where the and I, I don't know if where where we want to say here are various and I've got this like this our I think Max is totally onto it that like review the the um, bylaws bylaws for mm -hmm. lot si lot sizes and lot um, specs. Um, I want us to look back at our marijuana bylaws again. I, I think we need to. You know, we were early in. We went with our medical marijuana, and we just kept mm -hmm. going. So we want to make sure that we, we're doing what we thought we were doing. Now that it's we made these back when marijuana was illegal um, <laughs> for medical <laughs> illegal. Yes, uh, <laughs> solar specs. We we got you know we got caught lead footed with the, the solar specs. Um, well, and I, technology and I, outran us. That's well, what it I, is. That's my point. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, these are all things that, and then accessory apartments. Like, we've got an accessory apartment. We have a kind of an issue in our town. I think we've got a lot of accessory apartments that are end up being, for, for that lack of a better word, illegal. But they're not illegal. They're not, like, criminal actions. There's right. just, there's situations that have, by our creation, or our lack of attention to this accessory apartment, issue, we've kind of let that one keep going. I, I feel really strongly about that one because I think that's part of our Well, I think, I think our, um, somebody mentioned it, that, that when I first came on the board, um, which is 10 years ago now, um, we, we had someone who was a planning board yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, person. Um, being, being one of the only two elected boards in the town, um, we're abdicating our authority to the select people to hire somebody to do work for us. Now, I mean, I don't think that's necessarily a problem, but but we have gone backwards from having our own person to do the minutes and, and take care of the stuff to giving the authority over to somebody else in the town. And so I'm not sure how that all plays into this, but well, that's a question. Well, it's not there. even a select person. Well, it's, the, it's the building commissioner's person. Well, well there's committees in town that are that are set by the the, plant, the the board of selectmen, and that's where she works for that. She works for all these committees in town. Who? The Priscilla. 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 Uh, she does concon. She does all these different zoning these the, committees yeah, of inspection. the town, and and then said, Enough. "Listen, I'm not I'm not doing this anymore. So, as long as I send her the minutes that have been uh, updated as right. amended, she puts them in the book, and she's happy to do it or take care of them. Well, but the fact is that she's not really." Um, hired to handle right. our work. No, but, you know, he brings up a good point. And a few weeks ago in my past job, I looked into this, and that as an elective job by statute, we are allowed to have a budget. Now, we've always had very minimal because we collect fees. But how about if we change that? How about if we say, you know what, forget the rest of it. This is what we need as a board, and we're going to hire somebody, and they're going to be in play, and then next year it will reflect in our budget if we have to have a higher budget to that, get our own support staff, maybe mm -hmm. that's what we need to do. Um, you and, know, and I'm, I'm thinking that if we find somebody who's on a planning situation somewhere in another town that doesn't take all of his time and, and they or her time, and they want to be our our planning person, and not not the full blown uh, planning person for the town, but just for us. Okay, it doesn't matter who the person. I think I'm getting getting a budget item. So. So they are hiring this person. So let's let's yep. follow through with this, and see we'll see see how many hours kind of can be. Yep. But but uh, I'm, what I'm getting at, John, is if the if the selectmen hire somebody and then assign their work, and we get pushed out again, we're back where we started. So the, I just the, want to make sure. I was part of the job description for this position. It's the assistant town administrator, and part of it was if there's line items in there, if there's items in there in the job description about planning board well, and zoning board. There's always been, John, but if we have somebody no, that is, uh, yeah, yeah, there always have but there, been. But there hasn't been a person in that position is what I'm saying. But, but my point is, is that you're talking about an assistant administrator. That's somebody that's working for the town, not for the planning board. And you can say that he's going to spend, or her, she's going to spend part of her time or his time for the planning board, but ultimately they're going to go wherever the town administrator needs them to go. They're not going to go where the planning board needs them to go. And we have no authority to say this person is not fulfilling our needs now because the town is taking it over and putting it to somebody else. I, I, I'm not going to disagree with you, but we are the town. We're all the town. We're one town. 
It's not the town and the planning board. The planning board's part of the we're town. Two, we're two different boards of the town. No, no, no I don't. I don't I, well, we are two different we boards. We need to work the together with the administrator. The town administrator helps us. We all need to be under, and that's a whole other thing, is that we need to work more with this, the zoning board, the select board, and having the town of the town staff, they should know what we're all doing. So there needs to be some coordination there. Uh, yeah, I, I, think I understand gonna, that, John, but I'm them. saying. So we're not, we're not disputing, Paul. We're just, let's start with this, because we haven't had this for a while. And then we try to get our own uh, part-time, at least a part-time person. I mean, well, that's I, what we're all I, saying. I, I, will, I will, not to argue with you about it, John, but when I, I say when I started out and you were here then, we had a person who was the planning board. Good. So what's you, your? I'm not sure what our different proposals are. What's your proposal? I my proposal is that we had we had our own um, staff person for the plan for the planning board when we first started. Then that was taken over by the administ town administrator, and then they were going to parcel out the time to us from that employee that's there that was hired not for the planning board but for the for town administrator purposes. What and I'm proposed? saying now we're, now we're going to a point where we're going back to that same thing and we still haven't come back to where we have a 15 hour a week person who's just dedicated to the, to the planning board and he's not responsible to the town administrator or she, I'm, gonna, I, you know, I'm not trying to say a good man or woman, but if that person is not dedicated to the planning board, if it's dedicated to the town administrator as an assistant Okay. Did you hear what I said? I'm sorry. I started All I heard you say was it's going to be assistant no, manager. No, we start with this because this is the first step. And what the is second that? Second step what, is, what to is to get. That, it's to hire an assistant town administrator. Assistant a town administrator. That's what I'm saying. So we that's in progress right now, Paul. You got that? Let's let them do that over the next month. And some of the items on that person's job description have to do with the planning board. Then we also start lobbying for looking for our own someone who's dedicated some hours to the planning board. Is that what, that's what I thought you were saying. I thought well, that's what you started with. Well, no, I, I, I'm oh. saying that when you, once, the, once the person is called administrator, assi assistant administrator, then we're not, we're not on the top of the, the totem pole. Have you seen reason. the job description? Well, I, I know it sounds just like what we had before when we've had other, other okay. town administrators. I told you, I participated in helping create the job description. It has items in there that says they're doing work for the planning board. So th this is another one of my, my issues, I guess. Before we I, have, we, I haven't seen that job description. I'd like to see it. Before we take the vote on the next, yeah, I'd like on, to see the, the administration. On the chair is, I just feel like I've been the chair for a while, and I kept saying that I'll take the chair, I'll facilitate the meetings, I'm happy to do that. I work with the town uh, facility or who's ever organizing the agenda. But I said I think we should share stuff in between the meetings. And I got to tell you, I feel like that hasn't happened. Well, John, I feel like I do a lot more between the meetings John, I, than if you want to be a lot of people about it. it. You Just ask let me, me. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And, and I want to be specific about this. I think I've done a lot. I think Rachel has taken on some. I think you do a fair amount. Um, Kip has done some. And I'm going to name names here. I think Max and Roger do very little between the meetings. And I think if there's going to be seven of us on here, we all take some responsibility. And, and if we each step up a little, then it doesn't put much on anybody. So that's, I just want to get that out there. And then we can kind of move forward and see who wants to do what. Um, and I, but I don't want us to be arguing with each other. I don't want to be arguing with you no. because I think part of it is the town's responsibility also to hire people to, to help us because we are volunteers. But that's how, I, that's how I feel at this point. Okay, but I do want to make the point that you asked for help um, back when we were doing the, um, the solar arrays. Rachel volunteered to do one, I volunteered to the other one. And when I did the other one, all of a sudden, uh, what I told people didn't happen. And I got taken away from me, and you took over, and you, you went, ran with it after I had already said I would do it. And I was not happy with the fact that you st stepped on my toes when you'd asked me to help you, and then you took it away. So, so John, I, I disagree with you on that side of it. and um, And... As a result, I tried to get the peer review person paid, and it got lost in the, in the process because it got taken over. It was taken out of my hands once I started it. So I, I didn't like that, and I told you that when it happened. Thank you. So you knew. Tell me. Yeah. No, I mean, I told you before. I'm telling you again. This Thanks for telling me again. Yeah, okay. But anyways, I, my main objection to this, and if it's just a stopgap measure, fine. 
but the problem is, is that whoever is an assistant town administrator is under the authority of whoever is the town administrator and not directly unless you can show me the job description that says that we are, have a say in what this person does and when he does it. I, I haven't seen that. I'd like to see it if that's the case and, and we have some reasonable um, expectation of, of their services. I, I'm more than happy to sign on to that. Well, anybody else? No, I, I, I uh, agree that the board needs to spread out the workload more, but here again, um, you know, I, I don't think, I'm not, I don't want to say it's not our responsibility, but we definitely need uh, staff help. Yeah. I think the, to Paul's point that the town administrator, assistant town administrator, um, you know, although they do take directions from um, the, the administrator, um, I think it's more beneficial to us if a full-time person who was an assistant town administrator could delve into a lot of these uh, issues because even though a part-time person would be uh, who's dedicated to the planning board is not here all the time where a full-time person who's here and there's all kinds of yeah. issues that come mm -hmm. and go yeah. all the time mm -hmm. so I, I, I'm I'm satisfied that uh, let's give it time and see how this new person works out and if they're responsive to our needs and if not then we can start banging the kettle or whatever you want to call it yeah. that yeah. we need more help and, I, and I'm not against that uh, I just yeah. haven't seen what this job description was that was written up so go read it that's Where what I'm is saying it? yeah I participated in it so it's okay it was posted if for you the go in town month. you go ask Diane you know, you okay be I'll, I'll ask Diana for it then I but am. I'm not against it if this person can help us and and then we can uh, take care of that and see if it worked out for us. At, you know, I think you could go online. I think the job was posted on our website. So, so if you can, yeah, but I already had some response. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can go online okay. and, and right. read it there as well. Well, I'm not going to fight anything that helps our board. So well, that's the bottom well, line. That's it. And Good. I think that yep. I think that one of the pieces of this that I find frustrating is that I'm not always altogether sure what is like where to go with things. And that's where a town administrator, somebody in the office would mm -hmm. say, here's your checklist. That's what I need. I need a checklist. Yep. Like, have you talked to this person? Have you talked to this person? Have you seen this? Have you seen that? Did you read this? Mm -hmm. And I'm getting it kind of piecemeal. Like, Josh Shuret shows up and I'm like, I don't know. There was, yeah. you know, the whole thing with Kyle Purdy and then it switches names in a minute. And I'm like, you know, I, I've got to take a, an email address just for the planning board. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's mixing in with everything else, and so and I thought about that. I thought I should just create an email address just for planning boards. So some well, I think some you can get right some towns, town. Some towns do yeah, that I mean, actually. I, yeah, I I I I can do it through Gmail. I don't care. But all I'm saying no, is, I, I a, think if I you didn't... you can speak to Diane and she can set it, Diane or Pat Kroll, they can set up you know just your name yeah, or whatever yeah. planning board at Deerfield.gov yeah. yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, Are you I, saying I really for everybody in the board or just for the one person? Or well, what? For the, say the chair and the yeah. vice chair yeah, or whatever. Want it, yeah. You know, whoever but wants it. Just it. All I'm saying is it comes in kind of a lot. And it comes in, yep. you know, in pieces and suddenly, you know, in the middle of my life, I've got two things coming. Like this one right. from Carrie. But, I did see it actually at the end of the day, but I'm uh, also making a ballot for, you know, I, Maybe I'm missing something here, but I think it's important to when we do get this person that to know our roles yeah, and right. what our limits are because right. it's not right. going to be beneficial right. if you start corresponding yeah. with yeah. somebody well, then all of a sudden they start corresponding sure with the right. office help right. and you're left out and that's so I you know no, regardless of what we choose to right. do say okay this is what I'm going to do to this limit but mm -hmm. all these other things you go through right. the town office so, you know and then part of it is is the expertise of zoning and that's again where where pat smith was really helpful yes. that um i'm not even sure that anybody at the town quite has that so sometimes we still might need to hire yeah uh, you yeah. know a specialist um well then we have the attorney our town councils once in a while too yeah. uh, but it, i was i was i'll say it again but i was frustrated by this because i just felt like i it just wouldn't take that much to see this one through. Right. And, but darn it, I laid it out for Adam, I laid it out for, and I didn't get a lot back. And I feel very frustrated by that. And in frustration, I kind of 
I'm also very busy at work, so. Yep. You know, well, I mean, I had good success with the attorneys when I was a selectman. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, I would call and I would say, you know, can we have this thing Wednesday? Right. If, I didn't, if it was there Wednesday morning, I called again. Right, 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 and if I, I left them two or three emails and I talked to them at the end of the right, night, right, right, right. and if it didn't happen, I called again, you know? Right, right. That's it, yeah. unfortunately, but. Yeah. All right, well, so let's move on. Let's, uh, yeah. let's, uh, but I think this is a good discussion, and um, I'm glad. So Rachel is keeping track of, I think a lot of us are, but yep. she's got a place of the things we do want to take care of over the next year, you know, when I, we we, moving forward. So that we're not and some things, and then of course these, the things that came up at our last meeting, the green development, some other citizens want to participate, and maybe one of them does require a subcommittee or a couple of them even, mm -hmm. which is something that we can do in between meetings. And that's where, you know, our involvement can be. Mm -hmm. right. yep. Subcommittees are special interest groups to me. Well, they, well, it's true, they are. I mean, I think they're, they're, you know, converts preaching to each other. Or, you know, you've got your issues and you want them to be our issues too. So I think everything should go before the whole board. Ultimately, well, but but for instance, look at this uh, flag, the flag. Um, flag lots. Flag lots, yeah. hourglass lots. We right. need to go back and look at that. And do we need to do that, all of us here, or could you go and figure that out and look at it and say? Well, here when I saw that, I would have just said, just don't cap. <laughs> and that would have been my determination if you wanted me to take responsibility. I just would have said, that's not going to work. But you know, Max, I, I, you know, I, I look at that thing, just like the vote whether or not we should count that land as separate. I, I agree with you 95%. And the reason I say 95% is because there was no written language to support that. And it's an interpretation, why. and that was my no, interpretation. But you can't, but we you can't but make we up can. the interpretation. It ha you have to have something to base it on. You know, so it, let's it make that. That's what we're saying. Like, let's do that. Let's not yeah. leave it open to right. interpretation. I mean, let's the building inspector makes lots of interpretations of the building code because there's a lot of things like that in the building code. Uh, yeah. If, if there was a, a language that said, you know, like right there, if, if the lot is less than 100 feet, then that's where it, the lot uh, has to stop. Terminates, yeah. You if know, they if use the, the land could still go, but the building part has to come. And, and, and I would I would have definitely supported your your thought on that because I agree that there's too many areas that it could open up for different especially the purposes. way our field yeah. is with a lot of back exactly land. so let me ask you though if again if we had all voted no on that tonight yep what do you, what do you think the next step would have been oh we'd have been we'd we'd have had more I mean I brought been, that up there would have been three meetings ago there would have been an appeal I brought that up three meetings ago and then I missed two meetings. But there would have been an appeal, yeah. and the, in writing, we can't prove that we were right, so we would have lost. I mean, and so that's why you got to go to the laws. So my question to you is, are you willing to put in time between the meetings to help draft some bylaws that then you can bring and say, I'd like to present this? I think the citizens last month, they said they did some work and brought us something that we could then talk about. But, but you can't just... Are they citizens or are they lobbyists? Well, what are, you, what are you when you want to make your little decision? On, what are you? Well, I'm just saying you've got, like you've got people, I mean, you've you've got people who do this for a job. You know, they're, they're environmental activists, and they do this kind of work for... Well, why don't you get on their committee then? Help them out. Because I disagree with a lot of what's but, coming but, onto the board. But is if there any... you want to restrict the size of a lot that's... Impervi that's impervious in a, in a commercial zone, you're taking value away from landowners. You know, you're, you're I, I, the drafts of what I've seen, you know, there's nothing there I can support. I, but I think in a town, we all have different opinions, right? I mean, we've already but, figured that out, I think. Uh, yeah. So, but we got to come together and we got to make some decisions together. Right. And it's nice not to have four or three decisions all the time. It'd be nice if we could come up with bylaws that we all kind of agree on and then. You know, I don't think there's that much interpretation if you do the bylaw correctly. Or if you redo it again, knowing what we're Yeah, improve now, it. Like, right. just improve it. Yep. Uh, there's perfect, uh, yeah. perfect is the enemy of good. We need, just need to make it good. You'd make and it right better. Now we're making, yeah, yeah. it's fine. And the, and the solar was good when we started, and now things and have now changed, so now we want to, you know, it improve it. Um, but I'm, I guess I'm asking, are you willing to get on, to do some work between meetings? To, to help improve our bylaws or help improve our, you know, the, the, some of the things we want to get done here. In, I mean, I see the agenda, and that's it. 
every month. There's all kinds of stuff flying around the internet that I never see, that I never get CC'd on. So maybe that would be a place to start, is to CC everybody on everything. I'd, I'd be happy to do that. Yeah. Because just, you would see a lot of stuff that we do in between like meetings. I see an agenda and that's it. Would you get involved, I'm asking you? Well. I mean, I'm not just saying the, yes or no. The you'd, you'd circumstances have to, of my day, my day is I don't have a desk. I have a, a wheel and some letters, you know, and I, it doesn't facilitate. Right, we're not looking for instant responses, but within a week right. or two, people have discussions on the, on the email. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if I'm, in, if I'm CC'd, if I'm right. asked a question, I, I would be willing to... to and it's, a, it's more of a back and forth, people, not a yes or no. People have a tendency of going and asking questions of the people that they know they're going to get the answers they want from. Well, no, you, you have to be careful about I this because it. if you, you know, John can send something out saying, this is new information to us. Yeah. Well, you can't respond to him and yeah. say, I don't like this. Yeah. Well, no, that's you, a violation. You, that's a violation. You can come... You know, you, but you can be prepared. As long as the information comes from one source yep. and it, it's disseminated to everybody mm -hmm. and we don't so talk to each other like that, it's what, fine. So if we're not going to have a meeting, then how do we but, do work? But you Kip, have to do it here. But right? Kip, isn't that a, if an application come to us? But if we're discussing our revamping our solar bylaws, you, can, no, you can't have a little bit of... Nope, uh, nope, so nope, that's when you need the anything. subcommittee or something. That, 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 um, you, well, you could have more meetings. The planning yeah, board can get right. together. But no, yeah. any any time you have a committee, and there's and that was, was a bad thing about the select board know, having three people because right. none of us could ever talk to each other. You know, we'd uh. go in and talk to the administrator and we'd get you know <laughs> her <laughs> spin <laughs> on it, and it's like oh my god. So yeah, you you, you can't nothing you yeah. can do. Um, you know, you can say you know, are you available to a meeting at a certain time? You can respond, yes. And you're going to post the meeting, yeah. Right. But, yeah, you can't. You, yeah. you and can't and there, there, there is something we were supposed to have done about the open meeting law. We're supposed to know the open meeting law. Yeah, you are. Everybody on this group is supposed to have signed off on it. We took a test on it. I did. Yeah, so yeah. I don't. Did you take a test? Yeah, I did. Okay. So I, don't, I just don't know. So that's what I'm wondering about. What, how what's, that, what's this work that we're going to do when we're not in the meeting? Because we can't. Well, we can it, only, we can read. No, but it's, no. It's and you can like draft. What, yeah, yeah. And, and like what Rachel does, or John does, you know, like Rachel, she can communicate with, you know, a Cross peer them. reviewer and make sure they're right. coming or whatever. Right. She could call and ask to get, uh, you know, updates, updates on what they're updates doing. Or, or like push but, but I we think We talk to the attorney, we talk to the like administrator. Like John says, you know, something about this flag lots. And I'm just throwing this out there. But on your own, you could go and, Look and see what Montague does. Look yeah. at what Hatfield does. Look yeah. at what Waitley does, better. and read through them and say, "Okay, this is good. This stinks. I think this is good." And then you can bring it to the meeting and say, "Look at. I looked at these three towns. These are what I think might be beneficial, yeah. and this is what I think is wrong with Deerfield's thing." And I mean, I, I, I personally think eliminate that the really bylaws are the kind, of, kind of funky, you know, because there's a lot of open-end things here. You know? mm -hmm. Solar is huge. Solar is uh, is huge. I mean we're going to end up with the same thing once Massachusetts decides to do some other big push or the SMART you know, program has another inf influx of well, I think, I think applicants. Personally, I think one of the things that this board needs to act on right away is exactly what we just went through with the, the marijuana thing. Um, you know, a, a farm was sold, mm -hmm. and now they're growing marijuana, and mm -hmm. you know, everybody was upset about this 9,000 square foot dollar general store but yet now we're having a 60,000 square foot building put right there on Route 5 and 10. Mm -hmm. And that might be complete in September, and the owner could turn around and sell that for $4 million to another marijuana place and go down and build another one. No site plan review or anything, because it's built under the heading of agriculture. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is something that could that's really, that's a good point. You know, really yeah. mess up our town. Well, and that's we why we need to go back how, at our marijuana laws. Yeah. We, need to, we really need to close it down. agriculture when it's not? Well, no, no, the no, marijuana right. isn't. The marijuana isn't. But, but the new greenhouse they're the building is. The new greenhouse is. they're building on Route 5 and 10 is, Could be. is, uh, Could be looking is at that. agricultural. So there's no site plan review. There's no setback That's requirements. Right. They're just going to build it. Now, once it's there, they can turn around and sell it to yet the moon company. To grow right. marijuana, we've got the best. sun and we've got the moon. You know, and then they could go down the road because they. Own but we wouldn't. It would change the use, so they would come here for a site plan. Meeting. They would come. Now the only but the only difference is what we did with uh, the current well, one is there was another addition in the and, 
But if everything was built and they said, look, we're just going to take it uh, over like it is. No, it is a change of use, but we're not. We're like, not it's like the Greenfield Road. Road. That's yeah. my opposition to marijuana cultivation in a residential but agricultural. That's why we yeah, need but to go back. We at already, it. We, that, need to, we already no. crossed that. Yeah, bridge. you already let that cow out of the barn. Yes. No, but we can go back and. I voted against that. that. I know you did. But we can change that. We can go back at that. You already well, let the. It's. It's. I'm just saying. You think I just, these things just pop out of my head. But town meeting also approved it. So it's like we came through here, lots of public hearings. So it's, uh, it I don't think you can say it's a bad thing. Right. It's just, it is, you know. Because and now it's. Well, right. for you it's bad, but other people it's not. I guess right. that's the issue. I mean, I, I. And the majority voted to approve it. And that's, that's the sad part. When you, you know, all our jobs, we do not make bylaws. All we can do is recommend them. Yeah. And, and we put that's it forward. Right. It's the people in our town that vote for it. Yeah. As frustrating as it is. It, oh, it, let me, I just, I'd like to ask a, playing the, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'd just like to ask a question. Is this forwarding um, reorganization of the board, or are we discussing things that we really, um, is not exactly what we're doing today? It's good information, and I don't disagree with it, but... Yeah. Um, should we get down to, okay. you know, Let's I, I do, but I'm glad we had that discussion. I yeah. hope everybody, no, I, uh, I understand that. and it's but good, I'm, a new and person. I'm not trying and to cut you off either. She's so happy she joined. <laughs> I want to go home too. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, well, I, I, I make oh, it's a, only 830. I'd like to make a motion. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion to have John continue as our chair. He's been doing a good job and he's leading us down this road where we're going to go. So let him continue. I second. Let's have some discussion. Okay. Is anybody else interested? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> you have I'm the option of, of nominating something, John, but other yeah, than that, nominate no. someone else. If you don't nominate somebody else, it doesn't sound like there's anybody else here going to do any. Uh, I, I else. haven't had lots of discussions, but so I, I just got elected for three more years. So one of my goals is that I don't three run years. in three years, and so over the next three years, I'd like to not be chair. And so maybe over the next couple of years, we. If, if, if we get to this point where we're all doing a little bit more and taking on responsibility, well, I don't know how long everybody's going to stay on the board. But, uh, you know, I'm happy to facilitate the meetings, like I say, and, and I, you know, I like talking to the town administrator or a facilitator to get the agenda together a little bit, and that, I'm fine with that. So if that's the expectation of chair, you know, you know I'm okay with it. You're the head of Okay, then I'll, I'll go ahead and so, call for a vote. Uh, any more discussion? Mm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Yeah. Opposed? Okay. I'll abstain. Okay, okay so um, it's five zero one. Then for John, I, wait. The next motion I'd like is to uh, nominate Rachel as our vice chair because she loves this job so yeah. much, and the crowds love her. <laughs> <laughs> they cheered. They roared. They threw rose petals. Did could, you forget that night, Rachel? No, I don't. They all stood up. Like Rachel, Rachel. You know? I think they are. They are hoping that you're going to take over chair soon, so you better stay as vice chair. And uh... yeah, that should be part of the job description. Yeah, that's second I the motion, yeah. please. Second I second the motion. motion. Okay, call it for a vote. Uh, uh, any discussion? discussion? Any? Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'm bad at it. Why would you choose? Abstain. To you're not bad at it. <laughs> Was that first vote for John six zero zero or five zero one? Five zero one. I have help. So okay. I'm right here. Are you voting for yourself no. or abstaining? I'm, I'm voting for myself. My father there you go. There you go. So it's six zero zero. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. And then we'll leave the clerk up. I don't know how Paul wants to continue on. I know that uh, I can't write that fast. So. Yeah. So I'm. Um, are you? I'm willing to keep it, but I'm not. If somebody else wants it, they can have it. I'm not. So uh, one, I just wonder if there's an easier way because you take a lot of notes. Yep. And then, but I think sometimes it could be done differently. Like somehow we have to get you more information, maybe ahead of time or something, yeah. so that you don't have to be asking people's names and the spelling of the names and stuff like that in the middle of the meetings. It well, seems if somebody like it, wants to go through the audience and get that information, that's fine too. Well, if just, you had the and grab the cards. Well, you should have the application, I guess. That's the thing with all that information yep, in it. Yep. And I think that's what's... Um, 
that will get more help with that. And that's part of the sharing more information, maybe being CC'd on more things. Although I CC you all, you and Rachel oh, yeah. I CC No, no, I, I know. I'm not, I'm not saying that you don't, but there's some things I don't get, but that doesn't matter to me either. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's good to get the whole board getting everything. And mm -hmm. then the only other question I, is about getting minutes out in advance, because I know people in the audience and people in town have always said to me, the you, only, you sit there for 10 minutes staring at a piece of paper and they don't know yeah. what we're doing. And, yeah. and we're always. Well, I don't have there. a problem with that if everybody takes it to heart and we get we get back comments from it, and that it's not sent out to anybody until we vote on it here. In other words, if we if we do this well, it's a draft, you, as you said, you should write. I, that's draft. what I'm yeah. saying. It's got to say draft on it. But and but if some if we start handing those minutes out to anybody yeah. before we voted on them, I don't think that's appropriate. No, Can't you right, send email the drafts right. ahead of time? Yeah, so that, that's what we're that talking about. That's, that's what we're asking. That's, that's what we're, we're, we're talking have about now. And then we can send edits back. Exactly. On, on little you, things, you know. If, <coughs> and I, I, and I, I, I'm a little iffy about the uh, open meeting law, but if, if no, we, I, I, you think I, that's okay? That's not what that is. Yeah, that's fine. No, I, I was going to say, if you could get them out, that even if it's the day before, then it would give everybody... Well, I'm thinking it probably the day or two after the meeting is probably the best way yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah, that would be better. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, so that's what, that's what we'll try to do. But I'm saying it's, it's, it cannot be given Go out anywhere. to anybody until the meeting and we passed it. That's yeah. my that's my concern. I don't think the do we do. I appreciate that. I, I think that's yeah, I, 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 agree, I think yeah. it's very it's very um, I agree. It, it's very enticing sometimes for people to just pass out the minutes saying, well this is what was done, but it, it wasn't what was done because no. it hasn't been approved right. by Good. the board. Right. Mm -hmm. So I mean if we can I mean I don't even know if it's legal for us to vote by email no. No, no, but we, we can show well, up. Well, that's what I'm saying. You, you see, just, that's where the whole problem comes. If you just send them out, then we can look at it. And I think yeah, and send back so notes to get them corrected, and we'll we'll get them. We'll hash it out over the uh, you know over the well, months that we're out. I I've got a problem with that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah. I People this. could have the minutes marked up yeah, when they get here. They yeah, exactly. even that it'd be great. It would take it would be quicker because I mean that's what we did. The select board meeting, we'd get them ahead of time. And if there were changes, we came prepared and say, okay, on this, we change this, we change this, and then we vote on it. We don't have to read it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. Okay, that's fine. That'd be great. I don't have a problem, I guess, with that. As long as they the minutes don't get out here. from from our board. <laughs> no, so, they don't. And that's that's the only thing I would be concerned about. I think that's a, that's well duly noted. All right. So did you move it or? No. No, I, I didn't. That, but I moved that Paul. Um, be clerk. Be clerk. Mm -hmm. I second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Six zero zero. Yep. 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 So now we have two more for Cog and something else. Somebody mentioned, right? CDC. CDC. CPC. CPC. I don't know if Roger wants to continue to do that or not. What CPC? I, th I think he always wanted to. Has he been coming to the meetings? Because he was, he seemed to be. Have you seen it? Well, he's been really he's sick. He's been really sick lately. He's, he just got home. Uh, Remember last last meeting, he just had that surgery. Yeah. And um, the surgery didn't go super well. And he ended up in the hospital okay, well, for a long time. Yeah. But I just remember he seemed to like that yeah. being on that. Oh, so I don't want to yeah. vote him off of that until oh, we talk yeah. to him. We'll talk. Well, we can um, wait for but for the Furcog, it's 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 called the planning, the Furcog planning board. I think it's not a department; it's a planning board. And John Baronis was on that, and uh, he 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 he, he still he in? somehow got himself on from from, from select. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think he paid somebody off. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but it should be someone from the planning board. We need somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's a once a. I think it's every, it's not every month. Once a month. Once a month. Is it once a month? And it's, um, so when people from many different towns talking about regional issues, and he, he finds yeah. it interesting. Mm -hmm. But it's between 9 and 5. No, it's nights. Nice. No, I nice. think it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's, talk maybe in the afternoon? 4 or 5, 7? It's not, it's not in the day. But it's, it's late afternoon? Day. I'm sure it's late afternoon. I mean, yeah, I, I have trouble making the 6 o'clock meetings here. Yeah, but. I don't, I think it's in the evenings. I'm almost positive it's in the evenings. I think John's You want to go to more? <laughs> <laughs> you want to learn more about regional planning? <laughs> Has anybody seen any? Their four o'clock meetings? I, I did. I, I sure they're seven they're or four. Or no, they're, they're in the evening. I think they're I think they're evening because it's mostly six other planning boards from other towns. So I think it's evening. Six o'clock. I'm sure they are. I'm sure that's what John said. Uh, Is there no one else who 
Do you know why I do it? He's interested in um, it. I just need to know when it is first. Right. Wednesdays. Is it four? What? Is it six? No. It's six. It I'm, sh I'm real I'm, sure I'm it's six. Too. I'm sure. I know One Wednesday a month. One Wednesday a month. Yeah. And they don't always meet because sometimes they don't have quorums. You have to tell them ahead of time. And if they don't get a quorum, if they don't have a, a quorum signed in, they, uh, they cancel the meetings. And I remember they talked about things like when the nuclear plant was being closed, you know, how that affects the region and stuff. And they talk about like Franklin County issues. It's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, why the lights because it stopped glowing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have but is there budget. like actionable things to be done? You no. lost two girls no. here, by the way. I don't think so. I think it's. More information only tends to be, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What, were the, what are their names? <laughs> They're just dogs. We don't have to put anybody well, in. I thought, you want cute. I thought it'd be cute to put them in there as guests. Oh, no, that's okay. All right, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> what are we <laughs> Okay, so we're, we're, still, we're oh. still going for COG Planning Board and CPC. All right. No, CPC is Roger. Until we until, until we hear we otherwise. Okay, okay. all right. Because that cycle doesn't start again until the next uh, March, seems, November. Seems like the planning board appoints somebody to somebody else. To... Well, wasn't there something about uh, about the uh, uh, planning uh, uh, asset asset planning? You know the. Oh, we said we wanted to be uh, yeah on the capital asset. Yeah. Plan. Capital improvement plan. Capital improvement plan. I think we did. I think we, I think we lobbied you? for that. And are you on? Oh, good. From Rachel. the planning board? CIPC. From the planning board. Oh, okay. What do you call it? All right. CIPC? I'd, I'd be as better. As long as you're evening. I'd be better on the capital improvement <laughs> planning board we than are. I would be on the regional planning. <laughs> I'm less of a, but I'm more of an accountant than a <laughs> Would you want to switch with him? No. I can't go on Wednesday nights. Okay. Wednesday night I work. Every Wednesday night, except in the summer. Now this is that's the Which Wednesday is night is the for cog, right? Yeah, apparently. I, I mean, if Anne Marie, if you want to try something and it's I would do if frame. Max doesn't want to do the. I think it would be interesting. Okay. S say thank you, Max. Thank you. You're welcome. No, thank you, Anne Marie. <laughs> and, 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 and thank you, Anne Marie. Anne Mary. Anne Mary. I keep saying Marie. Cause I know. That's okay. I say, uh, <laughs> and it's a. Uh, that's right. For cog is F R. C O G, F R C O G. Yeah, you got the, the C and the R are just mixed up. I didn't. Um, oh, F C R. Franklin Regional even, Council of Governments. Yeah, yeah it's F R C C O G, right? Yeah. Did I type it wrong in there? Yeah, it's just wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I just uh, dyslexic yeah, there. Just, yeah, we all. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not my. That's not me. That's the. That's um, Priscilla. Oh, you're right. All right, you're off the hook. All right, so I no <laughs> I, I nominate uh, Anne Mary for the Perkins Planning that. Board. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? <laughs> okay. Nice. Thank you. Baptism by fire. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, I had my, uh, it, no one asked me what I wanted to accomplish. I had like my speech. Okay, let's, yeah. Your acceptance speech? Let's yes, hear it. Yes, here's my quote. It didn't get printed in the paper. I sent, it, to, I sent it too late. Nothing else. I know. He, I got printed you in got, the paper. You got a quote did in there. You? Oh. I did. So I feel privileged to be able to serve on the, planning, on the Deerfield Planning Board for another three years. Deerfield has some great opportunities and I hope to move forward the positive ones. More affordable housing options are needed, as well as the continued balance of local businesses and light industry that provide good and ser goods and services and jobs. We need to maintain our strong agricultural base and good quality of life for our residents while at the same time be more welcoming to a more diverse population. Okay. All right. That was your. That was what got you elected. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> some some lady wrote a thing to letter to the editor supporting uh, John yes. too, didn't, yeah. didn't? Yeah. And I had was someone, that, who someone had a sign lady? out there for us and everything. We were like, I was out of town. Who was that mask lady that wrote that letter? What kind of lady? Huh? What just nice masked, masked masked M A S K. -E I, don't think it was I don't think it was masked. Lily uh, Dwight. Dwight. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? And, uh, pretty, <laughs> that name sounds well. familiar. She's, she's come to some, uh, yeah. She was involved with the affordable housing, I think. Uh, uh huh. Senior okay. housing. Senior housing issue. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's her. 
X. Well, that was, I will say that that's a, that was a subcommittee that Paul and I served on from this board. That's the right. Housing inventory. Yep, you and did that. that was not a, that was a good. That was a long-term thing. It was a long-term thing, and it was a long yep. time ago. And it was not a special interest group. I mean, obviously, there were people at the table who were very interested. In, and that's what, that's why I'm kind of concerned. But what happened? Of what happened of it? Well, the thing is, by that time, by the end of it, we, we, we pushed for the accessory housing, yeah. the accessory yeah. apartments. That was the one thing that we really wanted out of it. And it went, felt, went flat when Kyle left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we pushed so we have, we have wording, we, waiting for it and you know, everything. Almost exactly the same paperwork that Kyle gave to us, yeah. he gave to Hatfield and they implemented it. Already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we just okay. yeah. so we need to just get it together. Yeah. I mean, it, well, no, it, this was before Kyle, though. It, it, this well, was well, before well, Kyle. The, the HVP, saying, yeah. Though, that I'm saying that that was, yeah. out of yeah. that was the one thing. This is low-hanging uh, fruit, right. the accessory apartment thing. Right. Low-hanging uh, fruit. But, you know, I think, I, I could be wrong, but I think there's been too much, I don't want to say personal emphasis, but it's like, call it for what it is. It's a duplex. It's a two-family house. Yeah. And, you know, I know of several people in town who've lived there 50, 70 years, who as they get older, didn't want to leave their house. So their children moved into their house and they built in a little yeah, apartment. Yeah. Right. And they've since passed. That's been so now what are these children who are our that's age, what, we're saying. what do they do with it? So they're de facto illegal. They should be able to rent it out. able to rent it out. And those are there already. So, so we're already, we, right. when we're talking about building a more affordable inventory, right. those are already there. Right. In fact, some of them are already being rented. I mean, like, oh, I mean, it's true, so but so you I'm like, saying get those on the boards right. and allow And let people to do, do more of them. Yeah. Well, why don't we put that on the agenda to talk about our next meeting? Um, you got it there? Yeah. Next meeting? Right. Uh, on, on a similar topic, I, I'm willing to look over the solar oh, that'd stuff. Oh, that would be awesome. I'm willing to take that. And uh, look at other what other towns are doing and stuff. And yeah. we'll figure out how we can adjust that. I can't figure that out to save my life. It's a lot of numbers. But it is critical because I think we just got caught so flat footed with that. You see, I don't think it's so see, bad. I, I don't understand what you think is wrong with it. I mean, it can be improved, but Well, I it's think not. it can be improved. I think that we got caught flat footed. Actually, that was a zoning issue. We've done two zoning, like we've, we've amended our zoning by, um, by, what do you call it? Overriding, yeah. you know, like uh, both the the river, the lakeside one. We oh, we give them special permits. Special, oh, yeah, oh so okay. We, so we need to look at that. Yeah, and yeah, say, yeah. So there's not so many so special there's permits. There's not so many special permits, so oh, we're yeah. not doing our our solar by special permit. Right. But I think yeah. another thing I think would be beneficial not only for us but for the community is not to. Um, deal with the solar like the number of po uh, panels it. and size it's how much area does it right. actually right. take up right. so yeah Do and that's how, instead that's of the numbers that's yeah. what i'm saying that the fully, numbers I are changing it doesn't yeah. matter to us if it's ac dc you know yep. this, that, and the other thing absolutely else. because that's going to constantly change yep. anyway so and that's why we're is there any other business that we haven't uh, anticipated let's set a date for the next meeting june 3rd is already set now um we already have something. Besh is for, set for June 3rd, as is the Chris Curtis thing. Which is the Chris Curtis thing? That's the... Um, oh, the potential... Uh, right. So we set them both for 7 o'clock, didn't we? Well, do we ask Besh if they want to come early? Well, well, Besh might be fairly quick if, it's, if the peer reviewer does all their work and stuff. So I think we do that first and then... Um, oh, it's still at 7 p.m., right? Yep. Yeah, fair enough. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain.